Well, let's speak now to Chairman Committee and Prosecution of Banditry and Other Related Offences, Abulaish and Kafi, who joins us live from Zamfara State. Talk to us more about uh, this uh, latest update about Boko Haram and his swap opening having camps in Zamfara. Mr. Shikafi, can you hear me? I'm asking that I'm, what is uh, the revelation behind well. uh, this news about um, terrorists opening new camps in your state? For many months, at least for a few months ago, there is a village called Mutu, a mother district under Guso local government. Uh, more than 60 motorcycles were started for the uh, insurgents, that is Boko Haram insurgents around that vicinity. And there is an uh, intelligence gathering where we have reported that those uh, uh, insurgents were sighted, numbered in about 60 motorcycles. And uh, also in Njibga, Kunchin Kelgo, in Sabe Axis, we share boundary with almost Niger State and Kaduna, the real infiltration of uh, also ISWAP and uh, some Boko Haram bandits from Niger State and Asaruddin that crossed the area of Zamfara State trying to have a camp in, within the forest in Zamfara State. So also, the reason what generate or what give birth to the signing of the Executive Order 10 2022, dated 13 October uh, 2022, which is the governor directed the suspension of all political... We may have lost... We may have lost connection with um, Mr. Shinkafi, but if you can hear me... Uh, we're having troubles I'm hearing from you. here. Can you hear me, Mr. Shinkafi? I'm hearing you very well. Indeed. So I hear you talk about uh, the executive order, and um, I also hear that the Zafra state government has apologized to the media houses that were initially shut down. But there is news about some 80 suspected bandits that were, I mean, suspected suspects, rather, including women who were arrested in Zafra for are uh, given information to bandits. What is government doing to enhance the relationship between the civil population and security operatives to perhaps um, get more intel in its fight against insurgency? Uh, the government has a very uh, has taken a lot of security measures to curtail the fight against unbanded and um, uh, and unbanded related cases in that state. And then on that note, the governor is trying to, the governor under the leadership of Dr. Bello Matole is trying to come with serious security measures how to, to combat crime and criminality in the Zampar state. And the problem we're having, the, the informants, most of these bandits are being aided and abetted by informants who reside mostly 80% of the and Poma reside in the state capital in Bindu, so where it is highly populated. So there is uh, a lot of arrest which was made even today. Some notorious armed bandits were paraded before the pressmen by the commissioner of police. They were arrested with a highly sophisticated uh, arms and ammunition, trying to launch attack in some around uh, Gumi and Bukin Aziz. So. What we are trying to do is to see how the, the members of the public, through the aid of the uh, media houses, will help us to see how they can enlighten the public, the danger of these uh, activities of this informant. Indeed. You, the only you, way you mentioned can... earlier, Mr. Shinkafi, just quickly because we're running out of time now, about the fact that there was an embargo on political campaigns in the state. Has that been lifted now, and can media stations go ahead to cover campaigns? The embargo is not lifted, and the governor have not personally apologized to any media houses. I personally, as a chairman committee for prosecution of unbanded related issue, 
I commiserate with the people who were killed, who were shot at the period of the PDP rally, and also condole the family. And also, I personally, I apologize to those media houses. So, how does that work? Because already, I next uh, timetable now permits political parties to go ahead with their campaigns. Are you saying there will be campaigns ahead of the election in Zamfara? Chapter 2 of Nigerian Constitution, 1999 Constitution, as amended, and uh, Section 14, the, the, the primary responsibility of every government is to provide security and welfare of its people. people. So the Electoral Act 2022 cannot supersede the prohibition of the Constitution. And when the governor signed the executive order, he cited Section uh, 315 of the Constitution, Section 176 of the Constitution, Subsection 2, that gave him the order or gave him mandate to sign an executive order because he's the chief security officer of the state. And uh, his civic responsibility constitutionally is to provide security of lives and properties. So the issue of issue of electoral act, the INA have given the mandate for the political parties to commence campaign 150 days before an election. So still there's an ample time. The order is interim, not definite. So the political parties still have more time. They have more than five months to go into electoral campaign. Presidential campaign and National Assembly election campaign commenced 28 September 2022. Well, the governorship and the House Assembly election commenced 12 October 2022. I think there's ample time. And the governor, in his judgment, is very fair and so equitable because it is his responsibility as a chief security officer to I'm make sure we have to go now, Mr. Shinkafi. I hear your point that uh, parties will now have to uh, they have ample uh, time. get the order from Mr. Governor before campaigns can kickstart in Zamfara. Abdullah Sheikh Kafi. No, 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 no. Unless, uh, until the order is vacated. Chairman, Committee on the Prosecution of Banditry and Other Related Offenses. That's how much time can permit us tonight. Thank you so much for talking to us. Good night.